Hi, I'm Chrissy from firstdayofhome.com and I am thrilled that you're here today because this is a special day. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome to my channel and thanks for coming by. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I really love seeing all of you here. I read every comment and it always means a lot to me. But today's extra special because I am collaborating with five other YouTubers and we're gonna bring you some really fun crafts for the holiday season. We are all taking up a challenge to use this miniature Christmas tree from Dollar Store, from Dollar Tree, and we are going to do different crafts with it. And I've already seen what some of the other ladies have come up with, and you're in for a real treat. So if you've come over from one of my friends, thanks so much for joining. And if you have not met these other YouTubers yet, go ahead and pay them a visit. They are Christie's Crafts DIY, Mama Dares to DIY, Kippy at Home, Pack, Eat, Repeat, and Salmond. So I really encourage you to stop by after you're done here. Uh, before we get too far, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet, and then ring the bell and you'll get notifications. As long as you choose all notifications once you ring the bell, then you'll always know when I'm posting on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started crafting. For this first craft, we are going to make a little candle wreath or candle ring like this one that you see here. And I was inspired to make these after seeing them in one of those high-end designer catalogs. I thought that they looked just beautiful and I knew immediately when I saw the picture that I could make something similar with Dollar Tree items. So that's just what we're going to do today. Now, if you don't have candlesticks, like the ones that I've shown here, I have a few different options with a lighter color wood, a brown toned wood, and then this fun kind of glam mercury glass uh, candlestick. And I'll try to link some similar products below in the description box if you're interested in getting one. But if you don't have one like this, you can always just take the candle and set it on the counter and it still looks beautiful as a centerpiece. So you have some options here. But let's talk about what you will need to get started with this particular craft. I'm going to set these aside to give us some space. So I have some wire cutters that I stole from my husband's garage workshop. <laughs> so those will help us to get the branches off. And I have my hot glue gun standing by ready to go. So you want to make sure you have a way to glue the branches together. Um, the other thing you're going to need is some pipe cleaner, and I have this nice green color here that will blend in very nicely. That's going to give us the form of the ring on our candle holder. And then just to add a little bit of extra bling to my candle rings, I'm going to be using a few stems that I picked up also at Dollar Tree. And they have some really good selection this year. They have these little frosted pine cones with gold on there that you can see and some berries also with a little bit of gold glitter and um, interesting texture. So I'm gonna really wanna use this for our crafts today. I've already used a little bit for my first candle ring that you saw. So that's all we're going to need to get started. And let's go ahead and begin by taking a pipe cleaner. And you'll want to just take the ends and wrap it around a little bit, like you would a twister seal. You're just gonna twist it around so that it stays in place and is nice and firm there. I always like to take a candle holder and just test it out and make sure I have the right width. So this looks about right. It's going to sit right on top of the, the edge here of my candle holder. So you wanna make sure you just do a quick check before you get too far. And then we're going to go ahead and begin cutting our tree and just cut as close as you can to the center of the tree. I'm gonna see if I can use these last pieces on my first tree before I open up my other box here. So now you're just going to simply start by curving the branches and we're going to apply a little bit of hot glue to stick them to our pipe cleaner. Okay, so we have our ring and we're gonna move on to the next step, which is taking a little piece of ribbon and attaching it right there. And I'll show you what that looks like. 
I'm now going to pick up a little piece of ribbon. It doesn't have to be a certain width. Really, it's just whatever you have on hand. So since I have this handy, I'm going to cut just a little strip of this. And the main thing you want to check is that this is going to fit all the way around your wreath here. So I'm going to attach a dab of glue and put this on here. And this just gives me a nice blank space to glue on my other pieces of greenery that I'll attach in a minute. So I'm just carefully going to hold this. And actually I'm going to use my wire cutters to hold this in place so I don't burn my fingertips again. And I'll just attach a little dab of glue along here, just enough so that I can fold down this other piece. Since my other candle ring was red and gold, I think I'm going to do all gold for this one just to give you a flavor for what that might look like. I also really love those neutral Christmas color schemes. I think they can be really pretty. So let's go ahead and take one of our stems here that has some gold on it. Or if you wanna do red, do red. It doesn't really matter, it's really your preference. I'm going to start with some pieces of greenery. This is going to give me a little more room to then fill in with the flowers and the berries. And I'm just going to start with a nice piece. I think if we get some different angles here, you don't want it all, well, I don't like it all totally symmetrical. Sometimes it can look nice. It depends on the, the feel you're going for. I'm gonna, going to do something on the diagonal a little bit because I'm, again, trying to go for that look that I saw in the catalog. So I think something like this could be fun. Now here comes the fun part. We get to experiment with adding different embellishments here. I like the idea of grouping threes. That's kind of a common practice in design is to have triplets of things. So I'm thinking I may do a triplet of flowers here, but I'm also trying to think about how I want to incorporate the berries and do I want a pine cone or not? So it's gonna take a little bit of experimenting. I'm feeling like we just need a little more volume here. So I'm going to add, look to add some more elements here. And you can see just the difference when I add this in versus without. So it's the contrasting textures that really are gonna make this look beautiful. So I'm going to attach this pine cone here. I think it'll sit nicely on top because I have some pieces below to help it stay in place. The main thing is I need to make sure my candle still fits in here. So I always do a little quick check. Look how lovely this is turning out already. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the underside here. And I'm going to go ahead and take it off so I don't accidentally get my candlestick on here. Okay, and that's it folks. We are done with this candlestick, I think. You always have the option of adding as much or little as you like. My take is always that you may tend to want to add too much. So I think sometimes as they say, less is more. But if you think more is more, <laughs> that's okay too. And you can always add some pretty ribbon below and look how gorgeous that would look too. What do you think? Because I couldn't decide if I should add ribbon or not. So leave me a note below and tell me what you think about that. But we've got some more crafts to do and I wanna move on to those to make sure that you can get to the dollar store and pick up what you need this holiday season. So let's move on to craft number two. Let's get started with our second craft. I got this idea after looking at a little mini reindeer ornament that had a little wreath around its neck. And I already had these reindeer on hand. I got these at Home Goods, I believe, a couple of years ago. But you can find something similar. You can find a miniature version. 
I just thought this was gonna be super cute to give our reindeer a little wreath around his neck. So I'm going to, again, measure with my pipe cleaner because this is a little bit smaller than the candle rings that we just made. So I'm going to measure so that it just rests around his chest area. And then I will mark that and give it a twist. And I'll use my wire cutters just to cut off the little ends here. We're going to go ahead and move forward with cutting the next part of our tree. I think since his neck is smaller, these next layers are gonna work really well for that. And I'll start by going ahead and cutting three pieces. And you'll see, look how much is still left from this dollar tree, only a dollar. So I can make a bunch more candle rings, wreaths for my reindeer, Okay, so we're going to go ahead now that we have our little branches curved, just like the last craft. And instead of having this little ring closed, I'm just going to start on one end, not too close to the end, because again, I'm going to have to attach this like a necklace around his neck. So I'm going to give myself maybe a half inch or so from the edge. And just let this sit for a second. I'm now going to make a bow that I plan to put on the front of his wreath. So this uh, wreath is going to have a, a red and gold theme. And I'm just going to start by forming a little loop here. And since he's kind of small, I don't want my bow to be too big. I'm gonna kind of make it about that size for the loops. And I'm going to use a little bit of floral wire here. It's easy to use because it's nice and thin, so it's not going to show up. In fact, you can probably barely see it on the video because it's so thin, but I'm going to use this to keep my ribbon in place and make my bow here. It's just a personal preference. You can also use the, the pipe cleaner if you prefer to use that. But as I make my loops, I'm going to twist and turn and I want the loops to be roughly the same size. And I'm going to have my floral wire out to the side like that. And just twist and turn so I can get these nice red sequins showing. Kind of make sure I got those roughly equal in size. It's okay if you wanna have the back loops a little bigger than the front loops. But I'm going to now take my floral wire and just twist it to the back. And again, twist it like a twist tie. Okay, and now I'm going to just trim the edge here or trim the back of this. And I will now attach it to the front part of my little mini wreath here. And once I'm done with that, I'll just clip the ends of the floral wire so that's not sticking out. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and attach my little collar to my reindeer. Just wanna make sure that glue is dried. Okay, I had to play with him a little bit with his little wreath here, but you may need to tuck and curve and bend a little bit to get it to where you want. And then I just fluffed up my bow a little bit and now I'm ready to add some little bling items to the front here. So I wanna do a red and gold theme on this one and I think it would look really cute to have some of these berries. I also picked up these little jingle bells at Dollar Tree as well. So that might look cute to have a couple of little jingle bells coming down. So we're gonna play with it and have some fun and figure out what we wanna add here.
I'm now going to take some of these pieces from the stem and add it in front, but I don't want to cover up my bells too much. So let's see if we can just pull some of these off like that. I'll see if I can squeeze in one of these little pine cones right here. They're really pretty with the gold glitter and I think they'll look really nice on our reindeer. So again, I'm just using my wire cutters to get these off. I'm also going to pull off some of these leaves because that will make a really nice centerpiece. You can see how pretty that looks when I put it in there and then we can put our other greenery or pine cones inside of there. And I think we can stop there. I don't think he needs a lot more. You can always add some little ribbon tails coming down if you think he needs that. But you can see how cute it looks around his neck. This next craft is super simple. And if you're looking for a very elegant pretty way to decorate your Christmas presents. This one is for you. I'm going to take a plain wrapped Christmas gift. This is just craft paper and I love using this for projects or for that farmhouse feel. You'll see it in a lot of farmhouse tutorials. So I had some on hand from my project last year where I did a gratitude tree with my family. I'll go ahead and put that in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out. We basically made a huge tree on our wall out of brown craft paper and it was really fun to get the boys involved in that. So I'm now using that same craft paper to decorate my Christmas presents and then we're going to be using the dollar store tree to make a little mini wreath for this present to decorate it. And I have a few other elements like some salt dough ornaments that I'm going to be posting soon on here and um, it adds just a nice little personal touch and a little bit of a homemade touch to your gifts. And then I have some tags. You have a few different options. I made these little tags that I'll show you in a moment that can be cut out to put on your wreath and it makes for a really cute little decoration. And then I have free printable gift tags that I used with some fun Christmas fonts. And I'll link to these below as well if you're interested. So you can really mix and match different elements. And then I, of course, picked up some Dollar Tree ribbon, and I love this pattern that I found there. It's so pretty. It has a little bit of a shine to it and nice red and gold pattern on there. You can also find plain gold and this red ribbon that I used also in the deer tutorial, the little reindeer wreath tutorial. So you can choose which ribbon you like. I think this plaid pattern really adds nice contrast with the brown craft paper. So I'll be using that. You'll wanna begin by taping a strip of ribbon to the back of your package. Then on the flip side, you can cut a smaller strip of ribbon and we're going to make a little faux bow on the front with this. I like to trim both edges of my ribbon just for a prettier effect. You'll see how this adds a little something and really makes it look like an extra bow on front. To cinch the ribbon, I'm going to use this little piece of string that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It was part of a three pack that makes for really cute ornaments and other crafts at Christmas time. Next, you'll take two branches of your mini tree and twist them together like a twist tie to form your mini wreath. I had this little ribbon left over from a party that I threw, so I thought it would look sweet if I tied it in a little bow and put it on the bottom of my mini wreath. As I mentioned, I made some mini tags that I thought would look really sweet on this wreath. So I will put a link to these below if you'd like to print some out yourselves. I just printed this on regular computer paper, but you can always use cardstock if you need it to be a little more sturdy. I just think these wreaths are gonna look so sweet and you can use them as ornaments or on your gifts as I'm showing you today. There are really a lot of possibilities and I think you'll just fall in love with these.
All you have left to do is attach your front bow and make sure it's secure on your gift package. Then you'll add your mini wreath ornament. And I also mentioned I had made these salt dough ornaments earlier this week. I really love doing this with my family and you can see how cool it is to color it in different shades with acrylic paint or this new very cool gold paint that I just discovered. I will share more details about that next week on my YouTube channel here, so stay tuned for that. But what I love about this combination is you can use any of these gift tags as an ornament in itself. So I hope you and your family really enjoy making these this season. Thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did and leave me a comment below and let me know which of these you think you might make this season. Also, if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much and I really appreciate all of you for doing that. In the meantime, I'm going to leave a few more videos that I hope you might enjoy, but be sure to check out my friends on their channels. I'll link to that in the description box below. And I hope to see you back here next time.